Hey Unity fans, this is the next part of the Unity 3D Game Kit tutorial series. This one is about adding enemies to your game. In the previous part I used the pressure pad prefab to activate the moving platform dynamically. So the player has to find the pressure pad first before he can cross the asset pool. And to make it a bit harder for him we will add some enemies the player has to defend himself against. You can find the enemies in the folder prefabs enemies and I will use a chomper prefab and drag it into the scene like that. Here you can see that the enemy has a detection radius, this blue circle segment and when the player is inside of this, the enemy will attack him. You have the properties detection radius to set the size of the radius and the detection angle to increase the whole size of the segment. This one is 270 degrees. Ok, now I start the game, the player is not inside of the detection radius because I made it smaller, but when I enter, the enemy starts to attack. But look at this, he's not running towards us. This is because the enemy needs enough mesh surface to be able to move towards the player. But this can be added easily. Select the plane of the terrain and add enough mesh surface component to it. I set the agent type for this to Chomper and to the include layers I will add environment and also vegetation, which will be taken into account when we add vegetation assets in a future tutorial. Alright, now this is configured and I press bake and start the game again. And when I enter the detection radius of the enemy now, he is attacking us and we can use the default weapon to defend ourselves. Now I can add more enemies to the scene, perhaps at this location here. And another one in front of the pressure pad. Ok, and perhaps one more at this location. And then I start again and see what happens. Ok, this guy here is directly attacking us because the player is inside of the detection radius. Then the second one attacks. And now this one. And we reached the pressure pad and finally we should be able to cross the asset. But here is the last enemy. He is following us through the asset. He is immune. But we are able to take him out because this is rather simple. We just need one hit to kill an enemy. But you can also make this more difficult by increasing the max hit points of an enemy. This is a property that I set here to 3, now I have to hit him 3 times before he dies. Now you can see this is a lot harder and we are losing health. Alright guys, that's it for this part, I really hope you found it useful and understandable. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified when the next part is uploaded. Thanks for watching, think about supporting me on my Patreon and I'll see you on JNM.